Hey guys, ADHD here, and today's video I'll be showing you how to build the party wagon from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, a lot of you guys have been actually, uh, you know, like requesting this, uh, but it didn't really fit in very well with the Wednesday cartoon houses, so I decided to make it its own video here on Thursday. Just kind of a really chill and casual build, so decided to do it today, like I said. Um, we're going to get started on this right now. As always, guys, if you guys actually build this, feel free to send a picture of me on Twitter or Instagram. I would love to check it out. So for this build, you're going to need stone slabs, green wool, yellow wool, white wool, black wool, red wool, um, a few buttons, and you're also going to need some white stained glass panes, and then a few other minor things, but we'll get to that when we need it. But anyway, let's get started. So starting this build out, we're going to start with one like levitating slab, basically like it's a half slab above the ground. So place any block and just place a slab on the top block, like top part of that, just like this. Okay. And from there, you're going to do two more slabs. So one, two. So basically starting off with three levitating slabs that are half a slab above the ground. Then you're going to do three black wool. So one, two, three. Then you're going to do a total of six more slabs, like levitating slabs. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Then do three black wool. One, two, three. Then two more slabs. One, two. All right, and that's basically our first row for the side here. We're going to do the side, then we're going to do the front, then the left side, and then the back, and then pretty much finish it up from there. So the next row is going to be one block in from the front, and it's going to be two yellow wool. One, two. One black wool. One red wool one black wool, two yellow wool, one, two, then three red wool, one, two, three, one yellow wool, one black wool, one red wool, one black wool, then two yellow wool. All right, and coming back to the left side, starting the next row, it's going to be two yellow wool, one, two, three black uh, wool, one, two, three, then two yellow wool, one, two, then it's going to be a row of three uh, red wool, so one, two, three, then one yellow wool, then three black wool, one, two, three, and then two yellow wool. A lot of repetition as you can see here. So now that we're done with that row, let's do the next row. This row's a little bit different. It's gonna be one yellow wool, then it's gonna be white wool all the rest of the way. So just take, or actually no, my bad. So do six white wool, so one, two, three, four, five, six. And then it's gonna be one red wool, one white glass pane, or a regular glass pane if that's what you have available, and then one red wool, and then it's gonna be white wool the rest of the way. I forgot about that door area. Just like this. And I'll back up so you guys can take a look and pause it if you need to in order to take a look at that. Make sure it's the same. All right, then the next row is going to be basically just going to get a uh, carpet out real quick. It's going to be one green carpet. Then it's going to be a row of six regular green wool. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Then it's going to be one red wool, one glass pane, one red wool. Then it's going to be green wool for the rest of the way. All right, and let's do the next row. The next row is going to be two glass panes, one, two. Then it's going to be one green wool, then two glass panes, one, two. Then one green wool. Then it's going to be three red wool, one, two, three. Then it's going to be green wool for the rest of the way. All right, and let's do the next row. So the next row is going to be two gra uh, glass panes, one, two. One green wool, two glass panes. And then green wool, almost, well actually yeah, all the way to the rest of the way, just like this. Okay, and this is where it's changed up a little bit, so this time we're going to be working from the right to the left, just for this last row. You're going to go in one block right here, and, the, and then take this green wool all the way to the other side, and so you match it up with the yellow part right here in the front. Okay, so it should be leveled out with this first part we started on. Alright, and there should be one slab in front of all of it. Okay, and I'll pick it back up and you guys take a look at everything all together, so you guys can just take a look at this to make sure everything's correct. All right, so let's do a little side detailing now. So what we're gonna do is basically just add the little details that are on the side. If that doesn't make any sense, that makes sense. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is right here where this door is, these five blocks that are centered with that door, this like red block right here, which is our door. <laughs> I want you guys to just go along that with these slabs, these five blocks right here. All right, and then on both ends, go ahead and get out some, um, you know, see what are they called? These stone brick stairs, and then do one on both sides. All right. And then right above the uh, stone stairs right here, uh, do like a half slab that's right on the top block right here, just like this, top of that block. And then do a full row over the actual tire. And then do one diagonal on this side. And do the same thing on this tire. And then on the, both of the red, uh, like the red uh, rims on both the tires, go ahead and place a button in those. Just like that, perfect. Okay. 
And then go ahead and get out some iron, uh, what is it called? The iron bars. And just go ahead and get this area right here. These like two blocks are there in between the windows. And go ahead and do two right there and then one left on the actual window. Just like that's like our little like, you know, rear view mirror kind of thing. And it kind of looks like, a, I don't know, because there's actually a gun there, like a, like a harpoon gun there in the actual one. Um, that's like something that kind of just symbolizes it a little bit or a side mirror, whatever you want it to be. Okay, so that's it for this side. Let's get started on the front real quick. Okay, so for the front right here, for a second, just ignore this slab area right here. Just start right here in this yellow wool, and you're gonna do a total of four white wool. So one, two, three, four, then one yellow wool. Okay, then the next row is gonna be either a glowstone or a sea lantern, whichever you have available to you. Just right there, it's our headlights. Then two white wool, one, two. Then another lantern or glowstone or redstone lamp, whatever. And then a yellow wool. Next row. Four white wool, one, two, three, four, and then one yellow wool. And then on top of this whole last row, just get some green carpet and go along it just like this. All right, perfect, just like that. And then once you've done that, go ahead and start right here on this actual slab area I was talking about. Take the slab all the way until it gets to this side. And then in these two center blocks of the slabs are, basically add a full block of slabs, just like this. All right, and then get your iron bars back out and just basically bring them along this entire thing. And kind of connect them. This is like our little like, you know, front area where they could ram into stuff and not break the car. <laughs> Just like that. And then go ahead and get back out some green wool real quick if you don't have it out like I do. <laughs> and then go ahead and get that out. And then take this block right here all the way out until it connects as well. And then once you've done that, go ahead and do the same thing with this top block. And also this block in the front. Alright. And we'll add, there's going to be a window here obviously, but we'll add that after we do this uh, left side real quick. So let's do this left side now. Okay, so for this left side, what I want you guys to do is starting on this slab, you're gonna go back a total of th uh, two blocks of the slab, so one, two. Then you're gonna do three black wool, one, two, three. Then you're going to do six slabs, one, two, three, four, five, six. Then do three black wool, one, two, three. Then two slabs, one, two. Just like that, coming back, we're rocking right to left this time, guys. Just, I'm sorry if I didn't clear that up. And then the next row is gonna be one yellow, one black, one red, one black, then two yellow. Or I'm sorry, no, six yellow, my bad, six yellow. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then one black, one red, one black, then two yellow. All right, and then the next row is gonna be just like this. It's gonna be one yellow, three black, one, two, three, two yellow, one, two, three red, one, two, three, one yellow, three black, one, two, three, then two yellow. All right, and then the next row is a full row of white wool. So basically where this little opening we have here, take that with white wool all the way to the back. Next row, all green wool. So take this part right here and get green wool all the way to the back. All right, and just real quick before we keep moving on, just go ahead and get a button real quick and just put those in the rims real quick. Just because we're already here, you might as well. Just put that in there, like there, and one right here. All right, perfect. And then let's go ahead and do the next row, which will basically be, well, starting right here. Leave a spacing of two. Then one green wool, a spacing of two, and then green wool, and then a spacing of one, then green wool all the way to the back. All right, and then the next row, um, again, just leaving this area over here open, it's gonna be a green wool, a spacing of two, a green wool, a spacing of one, and then green wool, basically just adding to what we just did. So just basically replicate the exact same thing on the next row. And then on top here, to take this green wool and bring it all the way to the front, or the back, actually and then leave this blocker here back open just like the front uh, the other side is and then i get out your glass panes real quick and just go ahead and add a glass panes along this whole front area here to add our windshield just like that and then do it on the side windows as well a little bit frustrating because <laughs> i keep i hate the glass panes they're always annoying and then go ahead and get out some iron bars real quick just to get the detailing done on this side as well and again, in this block right here, do two iron bars, these two blocks, and then one right here. Just like that. So now we're pretty much done. Well, not pretty much. We're done with this side. And then go ahead and get some uh, green wool real quick. And just take this green wool all the way back until you actually connect it to the um, the back over there. So I'm going to go ahead and just do it with you guys. Um, so there's no reason not to. So just take it all the way until you get to this last block. Not the block where it drops, but just this block right here. So once you get there, you are actually done with the fronts, the sides. Now let's just do the back, and then we gotta do a little bit of the, you know, the mild, like mild interior stuff, and then the actual, um, 
what's it called like uh, spoiler and then it'll actually be done so we're almost done basically okay so on the back what I want you guys to do is these four blocks right here that are centered with the opening just go ahead and fill those with some green wool just like that and then the next row connect it with just green wool as well and then the next row is gonna be two rows of just the uh, white glass blocks not the panes this time just the uh, glass blocks two rows and then the left and right side do one white wool and then the next row on left and right side again do one yellow wool and then the last row just do full yellow and then the last last row do just slabs all the way across and then get out some um, some stone brick slab, uh, stairs real quick and just go ahead and make like a little walkway I wanted to make mine kind of look like collapsible stairs so I just kind of uh, made this like little area to kind of make it look like it's kind of like rolls out of the um, you know like springs out of the actual bus just like that and then come inside here real quick and get out some green wool, or not green wool, some uh, green stained clay. And then get the green stained clay and just fill up this entire row. So just right where this leveled with the actual walkway and just fill this all the way to the back. And I think the green wool is actually, I think this is, yeah, that's right, green wool. I think the green wool just is a nice color, just like it kind of matches like the turtle shell a little bit. I don't know, I just think it was a good color to, to symbolize the turtles, in my opinion. Um, and if you guys want to, you guys can add some bus seats in here and everything like that. I'm not doing that for this video, um, just because it's not really necessary. But if you guys would like to, you guys can just go ahead and do that. Um, I think it would look cool if you did that. I'm just going to make mine kind of like a little bit of like a walkway to up to the top if I wanted to go take a look at stuff, you know what I mean? So I'm just going to kind of do this. Just so like if I want to, to come in here, I can look at the houses and stuff. But um, yeah, so then we'll come to the back real quick. And every other block, just go ahead and remove one. And the reason why for this, I'll show you guys in a second, it just adds a really cool lighting effect I actually found out on my two um, example ones over there, as you can see. <laughs> they just, I don't know, you'll see when I'm done. I'll show you guys what it looks like at nighttime. It just adds a really cool lighting effect. And then get some doors real quick, obviously. <laughs> You're gonna need those. And you guys can make this into a house, honestly, if you wanted to. Uh, like I guess I didn't really think it deserved its own house video, but I think you could make it into a house if you wanted to. All right, and then now that we are done with that, now all we have to do is add that spoiler on top and we are actually finished. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like at nighttime real quick after too. So for the last part, like I said, just go and get out um, yellow wool and get out some green carpet, yellow carpet, and then also some more iron bars. Okay, so for the actual spoiler, what you're gonna do is basically where this block starts right here, this opening, you're gonna do two blocks of yellow, just like this, and then one over that. It's kind of hard to explain, but you guys see what I did there. Same thing on this side. And then go ahead and get an iron bar and put it in both those openings. Just kind of make it connect to the spoiler, kind of nice. And then a diagonal of this, both these blocks, do one block out, just like this. All right, and then now, right in this area where the spoiler is, go ahead and get some green carpet and place it all inside here. And you'll see why in a second. Once you've done that, do a yellow carpet on top of that. And this just kind of adds like a really cool airflow type design to the actual spoiler, kind of like it's a real spoiler. And then do it in these side pieces too to kind of make it look leveled. And then go ahead and get a full yellow block and connect these ones. All right, and that's actually it for the spoiler too. And on top here, if you want to, you could add a sunroof. I didn't do that for mine, um, but you could just add a sunroof if you wanted to. Um, I'll show you where you can put it if you'd like to. Just because it's not actually on the one for the actual Ninja Turtles um, party bus, but I think it would be cool because like you can imagine like you know Michelangelo or Donatello or something sticking their head out of there shooting you know arrows like bow and arrows or something like that, <laughs> you know for Minecraft you have like the, the you know the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle skin on or something. I don't know, but <laughs> ignore my you know jabbering. So now we are done with the uh, party wagon guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what it looks like at nighttime that lighting effect I was telling you guys about real quick. Um, if you guys are new here, please subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. I build loads of crazy stuff on Minecraft all of the time. Um, yeah, so this is what I was saying. It kind of it has like headlights look really awesome. And there's like an underglow type thing because of those sea lanterns we put inside there. And then the actual windows light up and everything. It just looks really cool. Kind of like an actual, like, you know, wagon. They actually, it seems like it would drive off any second. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> it's a little dramatic, but I think it looks cool. Anyway, guys, thank you so much again for watching. Like I said, if you're new here, please subscribe. I build loads of crazy stuff for cartoons all the time and other Minecraft stuff. So I definitely recommend you subscribe for that stuff. Um, again, if you guys hit that like button, it really helps me out and I really appreciate it. Share us with your friends, all that great stuff. That'd be awesome. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for just watching the video. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one. Adios.